Cake Anatomy 101. We're going to see what's inside. You might see an empty cake and think of it as trash, but taking these apart can save you billions of dollars. But first, you need a cake, and nobody cares how you get it. I recommend stealing one. Why pay for something when you can get it for free? I've actually never paid for anything in my entire life. I think I'm allergic to spending money. Stealing's actually badass, and chicks dig it too. The algorithm for stealing is just to never get caught. And you got to deal with all the shame, judgment, prison time. So just do better at stealing. But first, we got to understand that a cake is a bomb, even if it doesn't have beer in it. If you have a tap, you can let all the pressure out. And if you don't have a tap, jam a flathead screwdriver into the top, and you're going to learn really fast whether it's got gas in it or not. For a giant corny cake, use a small flathead to get this ring out. Then take out this stem and clean the cake. Now this cake is an empty shell. The coast is clear. This adapter is on Amazon for $35. Gas in, beer out, pressure release valve. Try clamp it, test it for leaks, but most importantly, make sure it fits in your keg grater or keezer. For a boil kettle, you're going to need a grinder to cut the top off. You don't need to take the stem out for this, but make sure it's depressurized. Grab a step drill bit and drill it into the bottom of your keg. Drill until you get a half inch male to male pipe fitting in here. Make sure you use silicone gasket. Get a valve and test for leaks, and congratulations, you just saved money and your grandpa would be proud.